Hello again, unicorns. Are you ready to paint with jingle bells? And if you don't have jingle bells at your home, try to find something that is magnetic. All right, try to find as many magnetic items as you can. And then all you need, all, all you need is paint and paper to go along with it. Okay? So I hope you can find some magnetic objects in your home so you can do this activity along with me. Uh, I have all my stuff set up. I have the jingle bells. I have one of our magnet wands. And as you can see, they're magnetic. And I have down here, which I'll show you in a moment, my paper and paint all set up and ready to go. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the jingle bells on the paper here, and I'm just gonna try to move them along the paper using the magnet wand and mix up the colors I have. And while I'm doing that, I would want you guys to think about what story these, I chose colors that should remind you of a story that we like to read in our classroom. And I wonder if anybody can think of the story that I'm thinking of. All right, so I'm gonna point the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So I have the jingle bells here. I chose yellow, very dark blue, and a greenish, kind of, I would say greenish blue color, but it's more green. So let's just say yellow, blue, and green. Now, I am going to just paint and see what kind of art I can make. And then I can try to get the jingle bells to make some music. And I hope you can hear in the background that I've been playing classical music today for us to listen to while we are learning about continuing to learn about music. You see how the colors mix together? Isn't that beautiful? Now, did anyone think of the story that I was referencing before? Why do you think I chose yellow, blue, and green? Yes, that's right, because we love to read the story Little Yellow and Little Blue and Little Yellow. What happens in that story? Yeah. Little yellow and little blue hug each other in this story. What do they turn into? They turn into green. Now I'm gonna stop painting there because I can see that my paper is starting to, to tear a little bit because of the paint and the jingle bells. And I don't want my art to be ruined because it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna stop uh, and can, let's finish talking about the story. So they turn into they turn into green, and then their mommy and daddy don't don't recognize them until they discover. Oh, when we hug the other color, we turn green too, and they find out what happened. That's. One of our favorite stories, isn't it? Well, I am looking forward to the day that you come back to the classroom and we, we can read Little Blue and Little Yellow together again. I've had so much fun with you all this week. I miss you all working and learning in the classroom here. It's so quiet here without you. I can't wait for your return. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you on Monday for another set of videos where we'll learn about something brand new. Bye, unicorns. I miss you. Give yourself a tight squeeze for me, okay?